I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a turkey harvest. I come right in the center, underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, connect. I come inside and I draw a curve line, straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal up on the right. I come right here on the right and I draw a wavy wavy line down, wavy wavy line up, connect. Inside this space I put one dot, two dots. Right above it I put one dot, two dots. Okay. Come over here on the left. We're going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line over, straight diagonal up and leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, curve line, straight diagonal up, and leave it floating. Right in the center we're going to put a dot, and we're just going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect. We're going to come over here on the left, and we're going to draw a big curve line up, over, connect. Down below, we do straight diagonal out, curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line up, connect, come on the right, straight diagonal down, curve line, curve line, straight line up, connect. Starting over here on the left, we're just going to draw a straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect straight line, curve line, connect, 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 and straight line, curve line, connect. Now we come over here on the left hand side and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal line. Come on this side and draw a curved line. Come on the opposite side, curved line. Come back to the left, curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. Come back to the left, curved line up, down, connect. One, two, three little straight lines, wavy, wavy line, wavy line on top. Now, one, two, three, four straight lines. Come over here on the right hand side. We're going to draw a straight diagonal line. Come back to the top, curve line up, bottom, curve line out, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, big curve line over, one, two, three little straight lines, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come back to the left, we're just going to put a baby circle and we draw a curve line up, back, connect on the right, curve line up, back, connect on the left. Starting on the left, wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. Come right at the bottom and just put a little curved line. Now, come inside and just draw wavy lines going across on the inside space and little wavy lines going down inside the space crossing it. Come over to the right, baby circle, curve line up, back, connect, jump over, curve line up, back, connect, wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect, right at the bottom, little curved line, come inside the space, wavy wavy, wavy wavy, 
wavy, wavy, wavy line. Cross it now, wavy line, wavy line, keep going, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Now come back down here on the left, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a big curve line up over, connect, come on top, curve line, curve line, curve line down, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, one, two, three, curve lines. Now come over to the right, put a dot, big curve line up, over, connect, little curve line up, over, down, connect, Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the inside. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Now, we still have some spaces, so I'm going to fill in the spaces with baby circles. Some of you might have a lot of room for baby circles. Some of you might not have a lot of room for baby circles. Everybody's is going to be different, and everybody's is going to have the right amount. The last thing I'm going to do is take my border and put a dotted line all the way around the top, the sides to finish off my drawing and the bottom all the way across. Okay, I think that's all, but you know me, I never know until we start coloring. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, when I have a drawing that has a lot of a lot of spaces to color, I try to do it all at one time. So I'm going to color these spaces brown. I'm going to try and get my brown out of the way. I am going to color this brown. And you can do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Gives it a little bit of texture. So this space is going to be brown, this space is going to be brown, and this space is going to be brown. I'll do my feathers in a minute, but let's get this, these big spaces out of the way. So that's all going to be brown. Next, I'm going to take my orange, and I'm going to do this space orange. I'm going to do this space orange, and you will do a way better job than me. And I'm going to do this space orange. Okay, next, I'm going to take my yellow, and I'm going to color this space yellow, and this space yellow. And I'm going to take my regular green and I'm going to color this space green, this space green, and I think I did all my baby circles green. You may change the colors of everything. None of this needs to be the way I'm doing it. If you have a better idea, go for it. You are the artist. And I did this space green. And this space green. Okay. Next, I took blue green, turquoise, and I did the bottom part of this space, blue green. And I think I did this for a, a pop a color. Sometimes you need a pop a color. And then I did this space blue violet. Just to use a different color. So I did this space blue violet. Now I think I am ready to do this space blue violet. Next, we're going to do a pattern. 
Next I did brown. After that I did orange. And you definitely will color this in better than me. I had some problems over here. Orange, then I do my blue violet. Then I do my brown. Then I do my orange. And then I do my blue violet. Although this is blue violet, I'm going to do this blue violet and I'm going to do this brown. Now I'm looking at this and I'm going, well, this doesn't look quite right. Hello? I forgot my beak and my gobbler. So, the beak is going to be orange. And the waddle, this part, is going to be red. Okay? Then, using my fat yellow crayon, I fill in the background with some yellow straight lines. It almost looks like a quilt. A turkey quilt. Maybe that's what I should call it. Turkey quilt. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my turkey quilt square, all colored in, ready for the festivities. Okay, bye-bye.